Welcome to my channel, Mother Talkers. Hey, in today's video, we'll be talking about an H&M ad that has the black community on Twitter highly, highly upset. I know we all remember the controversial coolest monkey in the jungle backlash that H&M faced in 2018. And I completely understand the outrage behind that, even though most of y'all went back to H&M by their next sale. But in recent H&M news, some say that they are back again with their black outrage tactics. But I don't think that's what this is. Literally, all of the other child models had quote unquote messy hair. I think that's the look that H&M was going for. Maybe like an after school look. Maybe a I just got finished playing with my friends look. Messy. And I know that some people didn't see all of these images, but some people did. And they still feel like the little black girl, the little dark skinned black girl with short 4C hair was done wrong. No, my friend, your mindset is wrong. I think it's very ironic that the last time around, you know, we were outraged for good reason by H&M. And this time around, it's kind of like H&M put the mirror back on us and was like, you know, yeah, we're not perfect. We messed up. But y'all ain't perfect either because y'all really don't like y'all selves. Okay. Someone tweeted, H&M should be ashamed and so should her parents. Her texture is just fine, but you don't send no baby out with their hair undone looking like that. Looking like that. Okay. Her mother should have at least put some gel on her hair to give it a more polished look. It's one thing to wear your hair natural, but it's another thing to just not do it. This is simply not done. I fault the parent, not H&M. Okay. Honestly, I blame her parents because H&M don't want no smoke from their last screw up and they probably just took the pictures and asked no questions about her hair because people will flip and say they racist. A lot of hypocrisy happening with a lot of the tweets on Twitter right now. People saying, oh, it's not her texture. It's just that her hair isn't done. Oh, there's nothing wrong with her hair, but it shouldn't look like that. And oh, she has beautiful hair, but they did her wrong. They fucked up. They violated her hair. So which one is it, black women? Which one is it? Is it that her hair is not done and it looks bad? Or is it that her hair is beautiful and it's natural? And that's what natural 4C hair does. And when it comes to texture and natural hair, we can all agree that type 4 hair gets the most scrutiny. Type 4C hair specifically, child, uh, y'all just will never let up on 4C hair, especially if that 4C hair is short 4C hair. Y'all won't let up. Okay, y'all will tell us, stop wearing wigs, stop wearing weaves, embrace your natural. And then we do, and oh no, you got to get your hair done, girl. You, you, you got to put some gel in your hair, girl. You got to do something. Get a wig ASAP, okay? What, what, what do y'all want? Like, what do y'all want from us with 4C hair? What do y'all want? The truth is y'all don't want 4C hair. Y'all want to see type 3, type 2 maybe a 4a before b nah i'm good 4c girl cover it up black women did the same thing when blue ivy was a baby and yes i'm saying black women because it wasn't white women out here saying oh no blue ivy needs to cover her hair and blue ivy needs a perm no it was y'all it was y'all praising northwest messy ass hair no shade you know and saying that blue beyonce needs to do something with her hair oh my god how could she let her go outside like that but these other beautiful babies that went outside with messy hair y'all y'all didn't see nothing wrong y'all don't see nothing wrong it's because of the texture it's because of the length and it's disgusting because y'all are grown-ass people the same thing happened some time back with a J. Crew model. And y'all, like black women, I get it. You know, we love our hair. We love doing our hair. And we have in our mind what is considered your hair is done and you need to get your hair done. But please, people, it's not the end of the world if a black girl or if a black woman's hair is not quote unquote done. It's not, it's okay. It is, I promise y'all, it's all right. And when it comes to these advertisements, y'all got to understand sometimes the advertisers, they want to sell that imperfect is 
perfect. And we have to we have to take that same mindset. Sometimes imperfections is just perfect. The girl to her left, you know, the white girl, clearly she has a messy bun. You see hair out of place. They tried to create the same look with the black girl. And y'all y'all can't take it. You just can't take it. I do want to shout out some tweets that I actually do agree with. Someone said, all I hear black people complain about is embracing them natural selves. This is natural. Stop picking and choosing what's considered appropriate hair for African Americans. Just because she's posted on H&M. Either embrace all natural or stop complaining when others don't. Fine, I'll say it. What's the problem here? Because if y'all take them bundles out, we're going to see the same thing. Yeah. There's nothing wrong with the child's hair. Thank you, H&M, for promoting natural hair and self-love. I'm real tired of this quote-unquote perfect standard. I see this differently. I have kids, so I know how hair gets. She's fine. It's very telling that you lot plucked. Okay, this is someone from the UK. Let me read with their accent. It's very telling that you lot plucked the black girl out to ridicule her hair when all the other kids on H&M site look like this says a lot about you tbh and that is so true all of the girls had messy hair y'all just can't stand to see a dark skin 4c texture hair girl if it ain't long if it ain't gelled down if it ain't braided beads weave this that glitter that y'all just y'all you just hate to see it and it's really sad and it really is self-hate regardless if you have this texture or not as a black woman to hate to see for short 4c hair you hate yourself because without all the manipulators okay without all the gels and the creams and the puddings and the edge controls and the little baby brushes without all of that this is what you're gonna get and I also want to say that there is nothing wrong with the gels and the conditioners. If you know you're trying to style your hair a certain way, there's absolutely nothing wrong with the edge controls and the baby hairs. I love all of that. But I'm also not going to shame someone who decides not to do that. Or I'm also not going to shame someone whose natural hair can't do that. My advice to a lot of black women in the process of loving yourself learn to love your sisters as well and now that i think about it y'all criticize anyone in the media anyone in an advertisement i'm sorry any black woman in the media in an advertisement who doesn't have gel down baby hairs you know a super neat type bun or ponytail y'all criticize these people y'all did it with victoria's secret y'all did it with asos y'all did it with gabby douglas child y'all picked that poor championship winning girl apart it's like good God. We can really be our worst enemy sometimes. And I'm telling you, it's not Asian women. It's not white women. It's not Latina, non-black Latinas. No, it's us. It's really us. It's black men and it's black women. Y'all, we are fighting an internal and external war. But we can't let that affect young black girls. We can't let that affect them the way that it has affected us. <laughs> I found this little girl by the name of Kira Milan on Instagram and she does hair tutorials. She has type 4 hair and she is the cutest thing. Like she knows how to do her hair. So moms, you know, follow these girls who have the same texture as your daughters. Show show your daughters these girls. You know, these young influencers who look like them, who have the same hair texture as them and how beautiful they are and how successful that they are. Let's also support these young girls. You know what I mean? They are just as beautiful as the girls with type 3 hair. They are just as adorable and just as goals as the lighter skinned girls with looser curls. They're just as cute. Like, I, I, I'd love to see it. <laughs> And we have to remember that these kids have access to the internet just as much as we do, even more, because they have more free time, right? 
So y'all think that this girl who did the H&M ad, who was so excited about being a part of something bigger than herself, if y'all think she's not seeing y'all comments talking about her hair, she's seeing them. And other girls that look like her are seeing them as well. But that's pretty much all that I have to say on that. Let little black girls be little black girls. And if any of you young black girls are watching this, I want you to know that you are beautiful. Your skin is beautiful. Your hair is beautiful. Whether it's gel down, honey, or flying everywhere, you are gorgeous. And me, I am Eloho. I am telling you this because it is true. And if you are having a bad day, honey, just remember this video. Are you okay? Get out of here. Okay. Good Lord, Sally. Be easy with the brush. But y'all let me know what you guys thought about this down in the comment section. I really want to hear from you what you guys think about texturism as well as length discrimination with type 4C or type 4 hair. What are your experiences with natural hair? Do you think this was a dig from H&M or just a mirror reflecting on the black community? Thumbs up this video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you want to be a part of the Unicorn Gang and I'll see you at the next one. Bye.